it is time to watch Good Omens again. Season 1, Episode 3. So far, the show's been good. Let's continue. Mesopotamia, 2004 BC. Oh, Noah? Noah, you around? Wiping out the human Can the humans ice. see the man with the snake eyes? But they're drowning everybody else. Not the kids. You can't kill kids. Wow. <laughs> Crowley, the demon, is like, kind of you're gonna kill to everyone? Yes, but, uh, what about the children? Uh, can the humans see the guy with the snake eyes? Or do they, can they make themselves invisible? Wow. Invisible. Can they make themselves invisible, not visible? English left me for a second. Put up a new thing called a rainbow. As a promise not to drown everyone again. Couldn't the Almighty okay. just not can't drown everybody now? Why, Shem! That unicorn's gonna make a run for it! Yeah, oh, it's too late. It's so too that's late. why there's no unicorns? Why are you still going just didn't make it onto the boat? Me? And this is where the Golgothan demon from Dogma I'm not comes consulted from. On... Change what? My name. Crawley. So what is it now? Crowley. Oh, so his name was Crawley. Now it's Crowley. Okay, I thought it was just the accent. Did you... What was it he said that got everyone so upset? Be kind he just said, how about oh, yeah. if we're I'm good dead. to each other and nobody's a dick? And the people said, Hey, running into you. Kenan, if you want to swing yeah. by Pompeii, still a demon then? You've kind been there before. Still... I've never eaten an oyster. Oh, let me tempt you to. Oh. oh. No, that's that's your job, isn't it? Sorry. Didn't mean to step on any toes. The Kingdom of Wessex, 537 AD. Now I'm kind of lost in history. Don't know what's happening around this time. Azzy, you're a knight. Zerifel of the table round. Oh. I'm here. Arthurian times. I, I, I was hoping to, to meet with the Black Knight. Is Crowley the Black Knight? You have sought the Black Knight, foolish one. Yes. It's alright, lad. I know him. He's alright. So we are both working very hard in damn places and just cancelling each other out. Well, you could put it like that. But that would be lying. Lying? To get out of work? Oh dear. I would never. So they start lying about doing their job, which is basically from this point on, and they just chill, bet. Like that guy who didn't go into work for like 30 years and still got paid. Hey, tenants been there before. The Shakespeare Code. At some point, will I stop comparing things, Doctor Who? Do it. No one, oh. no one is here. You can get rid of the beer. I don't like the beer. No rest for the... Well, good. No rest for the... be in Edinburgh. The end of the Heavenly. Oh, just one of us goes to Edinburgh and does both. The blessing and the tempting. Well, you've done it before. Dozens of times now. The arrangement... Don't oh! Deceive. We've Our already had an arrangement. Dozens of times, you say. Just, but if hell finds out, they won't just be angry. Destroy you. Interesting. As his main concern about doing this is that Crowley will be destroyed, not for himself. I mean, he Fine. is an angel, yes. so I guess there's some kind of selflessness there. But still, it should take a miracle to get anyone to come and see Hamlet. Yes, all right, I'll do that one. My treat. Oh, really? I still prefer the funny ones. <laughs> <laughs> so Hamlet became popular because. As he liked it, and Crowley was like, I, I got you. Oh, that didn't sound great. Is he set for execution? Because I'm pretty sure you can't execute an angel. You are lucky that it is I, Jean-Claude, who will remove your traitorous head from your shoulders. Look, this is all a terrible mistake. How is he the traitor? He's not even French. <laughs> How many did they do a day? Crowley. Oh, I was reprimanded last month. He risked beheading he for crepes? I mean, there are foodies and then there are him. I understand not wanting to use your powers because you got reprimanded, but if the alternative is beheading 
Well, they, they don't actually die. They don't actually die, he said. They just have to, I guess, rebuild their bodies. So it's it's an annoyance. It's not death. But he'll perform, he'll perform a miracle in order to ensure that he gets lunch, but not to save his literal head. Again, they are foodies. And then this... Oh! Oh, this guy's gonna die. I love all the costuming so far. They may have first started off as angels, but you are fallen. I didn't really fall. I just, you know, sauntered vaguely downwards. This is something else. I like the costume. So if it all goes and I'm sure it's era appropriate. I like but the mutton chest. If it all goes wrong. Back. Is Indiana Jones somewhere up in here? Is that Mark Gatiss? Mr. Glosia? He's helping Nazis? Why is he helping Nazis? Such a pity you must be eliminated. What happened to you be a rich man? Did the Nazis lie? He's not lying. <gasps> okay, yes, uh, thanks for the explanation. I was like, why the hell is he working for Nazis? That's heavily, that's getting heavily involved in human affairs, I would say. Like being the actual spy for the British. Oh, you got played, Angel Boy. Oh. Did you walk over fire to get here? Sorry, consecrated ground. Oh, oh consecrated ground. You're doing here. Stopping you. Living your tough. butt, angel boy. I sh you don't like it. No, no. You won't enjoy dying. Definitely won't enjoy what comes after. So it's you three are definitely to going that. to hell. It would take a real miracle for my friend and I to survive it. A, a real <laughs> well, he gave you fair warning. Do you think the Nazis are alive? That was very kind of you. Shut up. <laughs> well, little demonic miracle of man. He saved the books for Azzy? Oh my god. I love them. The spike. That hair the tenon. She'll be holding on the wow. ropes. And she'll be going down on the ropes then. Who's going down where? What? Lance Corporal. Shadowell. Oh, Shadowell. Like Witch find the so guy. Not a witch. No, the other two are no like, what is with all the witch questions? Well, we it's the 1960s. So, you can call off the robbery. He got him the holy water? That better be real. Can I, can I drop you in Don't be giving him no fake no. holy water when he needs it. I'll give you a lift anywhere you want to go. You go too fast for me, Crowley. There's a tension there. Am I reading too much into this? We're getting credits now? Aren't I like halfway through the episode? 28 minutes in. Now we're getting credits. Alright. It's the puppy. This wasn't. Here's a puppy. In 350 years. Oh, right. She lost the book. She lost the book that she shouldn't have been traveling with. Why is the book not in a Have bank? I Hello. Yes. I too look that perfect after I cry. I mean. That's all right, then. You don't know what that means, do you? And a little bit more of hell burned away. Oh, really? So is he getting not as evil? This guy, I don't understand why he's there. Like, he had a bad day. Do the song. Cause he, had a bad day. he meets a wacko dude talking about witches, and he's like, bet, that's like a plan. Did he have an interest before? Like, why is he there? Did his ancestors speak to him from up, from on high? Sergeant Shadwell. Mr. Crowley. <laughs> no, they still know each other. Well, prepared the ledger. Why is the he paying him? Paying, Your Honor. What is his newspaper? It's hard times for which the infernal time. Age. That be Who nice. are making these newspapers? Why does everyone have one? So what color is my order then? Is he not going to have one? Adam, I can't. Or is it going to be? Oh, that's right. He's protected. I don't they're cutting down the rainforest so you can get a cheap ham chop for genetically modified food. Don't get me started on global And that's because whales have huge brains and they're hunting up no problems with nuclear power I mean, power all of this is true? But should you be telling a child? Giant Kraken. Atlantis been discovered. Tibetan secret masters. The facts from fiction. Okay, <clears throat> so... You went to them instead of going to Crowley? <clears throat> the betrayal! It's possible that the demon Crowley uh, why? Uh, why? Why are you I'm dropping sorry. Crowley's name? Why are you <laughs> dropping Crowley's name? I can tell you. Uh, the betrayal! 
the earth isn't going to just end itself, you know. Man, these no. angels suck. Yes. Right. I wonder what God thinks about all this. And Satan. I kind of wish they put a little pop-up showing me what the auras meant. Because, yeah, I can see the colors, but what does that mean? His aura is red. Is he bad? Or is it blue? Good lord, you're an American tourist. Sorry. Thought you were a person of interest. Oh. Maybe oh, you're just an American. I thought that you were something. a perfectly respectable village. If you're coming here to smoke your She's probably packing some heat. Which friend is Sergeant Shadwell, please? Or, um, one of his officers? The witch finder is also his people? Turn us up, we're a devil. I can't tell if they're friends or not. So if you could just give me the plates back from last week, there's a lot. Ah, I see. I give you more orders. Oh. Now, the boy is called... Both Crowley... And as he don't know that this guy is just some schmuck, they Absolutely actually think he has an army of witch finders. Right. The kind of weather you used to dream of as a kid. It snowed there every Christmas Eve for the last 11 years. Not interested. Just look it was for highly unlikely. Your main course, madam. Chicken froth on a reduction of broccoli gel with a mushroom foam. Oh, and the chef recommends that you get a scene first. from the menu up in here. Filled with the lavender food, not air. food. It is the first course. Rich people are strange. Artificial bun, artificial burger, fries that have never seen a potato. Food so do you sauces, sit, well, and this is the whole point. You stay hungry. Eating chow can help you to lose weight. Hair and kidney functions may cause annual leakage. Enjoy your meal. Say oh, annual, annual leakage. Your armor of righteousness. Armor of righteousness. All I can see. Is someone praising the sun? Is the old bandstand the number nineteen? I don't understand why he hasn't told Foley about the boy. What is happening? Why does he look at him like that? And all he's doing is reading some magazines and having some ideas. Imagine if he was on the internet, the parents would really freak out. Any news? Um, Tell him. Kind of news would that be? Tell you found the missing him. Antichrist. If you kill him, then the world gets a reprieve and heaven does not have blood on its hands. Oh, no blood on your hands. That's a bit holier than Heaven now. doesn't have well, blood on its hands. Holier than now. That's a whole we are at the beginning of the episode. Himself. No one his ill. Oh, really? It's a big universe. You know, this all ends up in a puddle of burning goo. We can go off together. Go together, off together, you say? How long have we been friends? 6,000 years. Friends, we're not friends. You are so friends. You're damn near more than friends. Even if I did know where the Antichrist was, I wouldn't tell you we're on opposite sides. We're on our side. There is no our side. Craig. There is only. Not anymore. You two together. It's over. Azzy, I am disappointed in you. Seriously. Is he dreaming about no nuclear power plants and accidentally causing a meltdown? That's he's literally getting rid of nuclear. So he's in his dreams so of no nuclear stuff. He's having the power station still function, but not creating nuclear waste or using nuclear power. Good job. What do you mean I Is it just gonna be hamsters on wheels? Looks like a sherbet lemon. They actually got some good eyes. A sherbet lemon. Which I've never had. Did not know they could produce so much electricity. Probably not good for your health. Mend it all, end it all. Is it the warring factions in his brain? Mend it all, end it all. That's David Morris. I saw a thing called Blackpool with him and Tennant. Like a murder mystery thriller musical. Strange but awesome. And Atlanteans. No, not UFOs. No! No Daleks! Do not let Adam bring Daleks into reality. We don't need it. Adam is gonna be like, I knew it! I told you! Gabriel! Armageddon is coming! What are you trying to accomplish? They know Armageddon is coming. They want it to come. They're not the good guys. I just thought there was something we could do. There is. We can fight. That's to what happened. end? What's of the point? A fighting machine. Sorry. Was he ever a fighting I'm, machine? Uh... I seriously doubt that. Why is Gabriel on Earth? Head office said the job was booked about 6,000 years ago. But I saw the paperwork. On um, papyrus? Anyway, ours is to deliver packages. And I? 
No, they've been busted. Might be playing his own game, word to the wise. Wait, is she working with a demon also? No, Does every demon have a friend that's an angel? The moon. No atmosphere. No nightlife. You'd get bored. If only you had some kind of ship. Look at that. Maybe one that could travel through space and Don't time and be your home. Oh. On a side note, I'm pretty sure that says Gallifrey, and that's kind of awesome. I swear, Crowley is the only one that has sympathy and consideration for the humans. Everyone else is kind of like, eh, humans. I mean, granted, I'm I'm often eh, humans, but not unto the destruction of the earth, you know? I'm fine. I'm fine. Bloody lorries. Woo! Before they were married, they came here to spoon, and on one memorable occasion, fork. Party by the name of Chalk, he said. You go all over Ugh. the world delivering. This pollution. I can't remember who the last one is. What did that say? What did that say? <laughs> These truck drivers are kind of oh. aiming for him. Now don't think of it as dying. Think of it as leaving early to avoid the rush. Mm. I, I don't understand who this package delivery guy is who willingly did all of this. And died. This guy traveled around the world delivering packages and now let himself die, deliver a message to death. What are the benefits of this job? I mean, that must have an amazing life insurance policy for the next of kin. Because he can't use anything. He did now. Do you kids want some candy? It's chocolate. Yes. Let's take candy from strangers. How could it still be producing electricity? The BBC would know how Enter. nothing is producing electricity. Pen. Hey, it's the bayonet in your army of white. Are you going to explain to him how any of that works? Oh. <laughs> That's the wrong arm. Hi. This world really have no cell phones, cause really won't be like film. We've been asked to bring you a message. Me oh. personally. Me. Me you what? I just got pulled over by aliens. Did you count their nipples? I didn't. You're think a witch that... finder, not an This alien man is finder. a little too obsessed with nipples. I'm starting to think it's a fetish. Nipples. Just nothing to do with witches. It's just it's just a him thing. I don't know. We'll save the world, though. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, bad day to be a whaling ship, so you about to get got. Kraken? 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 Kraken! Why are they leaking everywhere? That is not water. A cell phone! They do exist! Prophecy alert. They have a prophecy app. They have the prophecies on little cards. They have apparently a prophecy app with the prophecies. Why were you carrying the 350 year old book on your travels? Why wasn't it in a vault? <laughs> Does his car have three tires? The Tibetans are coming. The Tibetans are coming. Again, Adam is like, I knew it. A bit long, so. I'm calling us Triplets. Dark Force One. I, uh, I don't like jokes. Next. So, well, you know what a selfie is. I believe the demon Crowley invented them. Next. Bye, Natima. You coming, Adam? I didn't say you could go. Is he getting dark? Adam's different. Don't be wet. Don't be Actually, wet. That's why I really Hi, Adam. We weren't talking about you at all. Thaddeus Dowling. I wouldn't service. shake his hand. My wife or Harriet. touch him. Uh. Uh. I don't need to see that. Call the guards. Security. Oh. Dead meat, Crowley. Your bloody history. 
You stay where you are. We're no, not the you. bunny. There aren't really any witches. I'm actually a computer engineer. How did he get through university with a computer engineer degree? If every time he touches a computer, the thing explodes. It's our job to make it start again. Right, Doc? Okay, so something in Adam's head unlocked. And now he's basically going to do a god and wipe out humanity and start again. Angel! Forces of hell have figured out it was my fault. But we can run away together. Alpha Centauri! Crowley wants to run, but he wants to there. run with Azzy. I've been there. You're better off without him. No, you're not. You're better off together. Is that actually holy water? Or did he lie? Just to get him to stop him from going after it himself. Oh, it's actually holy water. Calm down, man. Calm down. Ask yourself. Do you feel lucky? Do you feel lucky? Why don't we talk to the dark council? Suddenly everybody has a cell phone. How many angels can dance on the head of a pin? That's to unfamiliar. Answer, we at least nearly none. Of course, it's your fail can to dance. dance. dance called the Gavotte in a discreet gentleman's club in Portland Place. And when they say a gentleman's club. After a while, he had become fairly <laughs> Did I take drugs? Consorting with the enemy. Oh, I, I, I haven't been consorting. I don't think your boyfriend in the dark glasses will get you special treatment in hell. Boyfriend? You! You! Bad angels! Bad angels! Hey! hey, hey. She goes off on stuff about... About what? You and me. Like what? Oh, well, stupid stuff. You, if she... You don't want to know. It's a prophecy. It's probably important. The plane isn't far from... <laughs> Grab the prophecies! Kissed a girl? No, not even once! Okay. Is this helping somehow? Um. Why did the kiss activate it? Wait. Should we have dinner or something? First? World is ending. Time to get busy. Young Pulsifer could be suffering unimaginable tortures at the hands of the Daughters of Night. I mean, I think Young Pulsifer is doing something at the hands of the Daughters of Night. <sighs> suffering? I wouldn't call it. So I guess what they're doing is so hot, they lit a map in London on fire. Pretty good for his first time. Doing all manner of things to him right this moment. Oh, she is. She definitely is. He got go dark home, real go quick. Um, what that? What happened in there? Is there anybody there? Is there ever? You are speaking to the Metatron, Nazirophil. Behold the Metatron, herald of the Almighty, and voice of the one true God. I need to speak directly to God. Do not insult the Metatron. The point is not to avoid the war. The point is to win it. Why does everybody want a war? Does nobody know what peace is? Can you spell it? Ah, two shakes of a lamb's tail. No more chocolate. No more pizza. No more sushi. You monster! Seducing women to do your evil will. Oh, I think perhaps you've got the wrong shot. You are possessed by Seducing evil, women. And I will exercise you. And just don't the cross place the from circle, which you came. You and he is not listening at all. No offense, but sometimes as he's a bit dumb and it annoys me a little. No, the shop is gonna burn. Man, I have to go to bed. Ugh. If anything looks different in the background and such, actually the next day because my camera bad week went. So my thoughts on episode three and four, excellent episodes. The beginning portion of number three, following the story of Crowley and Aziraphale. Aha, I'm learning the name. I could have more. This whole episode of their shenanigans through history. Yes, please. Excellent. I knew going in that there was like some shipping involved with these two characters. I just assumed it was, uh, you know, 
fans will be fans. That's going to happen. You make up your own thing. You leap to conclusions. You stretch up, stretch up the imagination to make these things work. No, no, there's no stretching of the imagination needed. That's there is tension. There's a relationship. I want to see more of that. I'm into it. Yes, please. The way Aziraphale looked at Crowley after Crowley saved his books in the bombing, Crowley constantly putting himself in difficult positions to save Aziraphale, especially in World War II, going into the church. You know, damn well he's not supposed to be in no church. Going in there because he got to save his homie, maybe more than homie. That's just adult. Why? Then Knock and Boot made the map from Boston, London, and suddenly his witch find the pin actually. No idea. Does having sex give you witch powers? And how does that tie into Armageddon? Did they conceive the second coming with his first coming? Yo, I want more backstory on the delivery person. Was he just a human guy that was real dedicated to his job? I mean, what did that come from? Besides Neil Gaiman's brain.